is another beautiful, almost 100 degree temperature weather in Central Florida. Welcome back. I'm back with a brand new video. And sorry, but once again, I'm in the next shirt because it just happens that way. But anyway, today I am finally going to be getting some new tires for the GT wheels that I got um, a couple months ago. Um, if you guys saw a little short video I put up when I first got them, I put the tires from the Ferrari wheels on them and they didn't really look good whatsoever. But I did take a little road trip, so I was at the time rushed to buy a, a uh, used two pairs because you know there are different sizes, you know, front and back. Um, so I, I got those just to make the trip and of course drive around for a little bit. But I did go ahead and order a brand new set of tires. And I will be going today to Speed Zone Performance to get those installed. So we're gonna be heading there now. Now I'm gonna put the tires up on the screen over here uh, to my to to my to my left, your right. Um, it's gonna be a set of Accelera PHI. Now I had those tires many many years back on the blue Acura TL. That was actually the second pair of set of tires that I had for these uh, these uh, Forestone wheels I had. By the way, those are my, those are my favorite set of wheels I had. Um, I didn't really like the specs too much because this was back in the time where stance was like a big thing, where everybody had the super wide wheels, the 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 low the low offset, running camber, whatnot. I didn't go crazy with the camber because you know I like my car to be drivable at all times. So I did natural camber in the front, but I did, I believe I had to do negative three and a half in the back. So, you know, it was a little, little tilty. It wasn't too crazy, but it had to be done in order, in order for clearance. But even then I still, I still experienced some rubbing on the, on the rim itself, which is crazy to me. So, um, needless to say, I didn't keep those wheels on the car for a, a massive amount of time. I went through, I had them long enough to where I, I went to one set of tires and then I switched to these same tires I'm getting right now today, the Acceleras. I switched to those and then I sold the wheels about a month or so later. So I had to really get to enjoy them. So I found a great deal on them for, for the size I wanted for this car, which is 235 40 19 and 265 35 19. Um, it's just, you know, what just one size up from the standard sizes for these wheels, which is 225 40 and 255 35. So I went just, you know, what one, one, one size wider, just. Just, just, you know, just giving you know a little more extra, extra, uh, a little, little bit extra traction. But you know me, I, I, you know I like to run a wider setup just because, really. Let's just be honest. I, I, I you know, I like just running it slightly wider. I mean, you guys see me do with, with the TL, with the 25 40s versus the 235 45s it came with. I thought about doing uh, 245 35 for the front and 275 30 for the rear but honestly i kind of feel like that, that that might be a little bit too wide especially with the with the sidewall being so so slim for the back so i don't think it would look right especially since i'm on springs and i'll pull over so i'll still have like a cinnamon amount a considerable amount of wheel gap which the tires would not really cover so i want to stick with close to oem so it's one one, one size wider front and back and i should be good like that man so that's what i got on here right now as well with these you know two different sets of used tires I got. But anyway, uh, that being said, let's head over to Speed Zone and uh, let's check out my new tires. All right, here we are at Speed Zone and let's just check out this little lineup of cars we got right here. We got this nice blue Mustang and we got this black Charger white body with some Ferratas on it. And of course, it's my ugly stock ass car, G35. And then this with buddy of mine's uh, Camaro over here. I think I recognize this one. All right, and here they are right here. Look at that, I even got my name on it, VIP. So yeah, this is the size I went with, y'all. It's an XLR, PHI, it just says around here. 265, 35, 19. And this is the front. No, that's one of the back ones. There's a the front right here. Where are we? 235, 40, 19. So that's my staggered setup of XLR PHI. Trying them out for the second time. I think that this time I'll be actually able to enjoy them. And uh, I'll be doing a review on these, actually. And uh, let you know what, I, let, let's know what I think about them and see if I uh, still recommend them. And as you're already in the shop, getting staged and ready to. 
My apologies, my Bluetooth cut in. But in the shop, stage, ready for new tires. But anyway, while I am here, this is a typical ritual of uh, every time uh, Johnny buys a new car because you know, this man changes cars like he changes underwear. So this is his 2016, I believe, IS350 F Sport. And this is just as beautiful as my best friend's GS350 R Sport in Texas. If you guys ever seen that video, you guys can click above and check out that review that I did over there in Houston. As you mentioned inside to me just now, that you got you got some brand new rotors and pads by Power Stop, the Z26 package. I have these same pads and rotors on the on the TL. Sorry, I didn't really get to enjoy too much of it because, as you guys know, I blew two ends on that thing. I'm gonna hop inside. And he got the bread interior. Ooh, my lord. Bread guts. Oh, sorry. Embarrassing. Oh, yeah. Can't go wrong with the red guts. Don't mind me, G, if I uh, just see a little bit so I can, I can uh, step inside and be comfortable. Let's fire this bad boy up. I love this interior. Cannot go wrong. Cannot go wrong with, with, with an Sport interior. Beautiful. Full digital gauges. It's a hundred and oh, copyright. My bad. It is a hundred and five. Y'all see that? Hold on. Let me get, let me get a better view of it. A hundred and five degrees Fahrenheit. Your eyes are not deceiving you. That is the temperature right now. At what time is it? Just after. Yeah, almost, almost three o'clock in the afternoon. That is the temperature right now here in Central Florida. It has been like this for about a month now and it's absolutely ridiculous. The heat index is, is, is even higher than that. The heat index has been to like 115. Man, this is one crazy summer, for real. All right, so this probably better take it off the tripod. Just, uh, just I don't have much, uh, much space in here, but I'm six feet tall. Um, I have the seat scooted all the way back. And as you see, I have, you see, I'm damn near taking a nap here. So I'm actually gonna just uh, readjust my seat. I'm gonna put the bottom cushion up a little bit. And then move my seat forward, move the backrest forward. And that's about my driving position. There's actually very, very adequate room for, for a compact. Um, not much space in the back, which is to be expected for, uh, for an IS, but this, you know, still one of the bread and butter cars for, for Lexus. And uh, as you can see, it's it's still doing well. Has the same clock that the GS has. And I don't know if this is accurate or not, but I know the one in the GS was not. I don't know if it's something that just messes up after a while or if it's something that has to be fixed in order for it to work properly. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the climate control. And, ooh, oh, okay. I like this. I like that, it's dope. I like that. Oh, uh, we got pretty much the same drive modes, eco, normal. You can, you can do a little personal customization mode. Sport and Sport Plus. You have your snow mode, your traction button right there. So it's pretty pretty, pretty, pretty easy, straightforward interior to, to, uh, to operate. And um, sadly, that's all F Sport models. There's no fog lights. But who needs them nowadays? Especially in Florida, you don't need fog lights here. Oh yeah, man, that, that's, that's actually very, very, comfortable one here so back camera up there with uh yep with uh trajectory guidelines i'm gonna take this thing for a spin man i mean i know i know the camera's not gonna pick it up but this crystal crystal clear really good camera um quality right here crystal clear i, I can e i can even say it's clearer than than, than mine and my car's a lot newer than this one so uh Big points for, for Lexus for that one. All right, so point out to the main road here. I'm actually gonna put this in Sport Plus, and I'm keeping it automatic mode for right now. And you know, just pull out here. Yeah, guys, don't do what I'm doing right now. I'm holding the phone while I'm driving. And uh, let's get let's get let's get a little pull, shall we? Loud. I don't know if he did intakes on this thing, but that is loud and that that thing 
This thing pulls nice, real nice. I can, I can, I can, I can pretty much say it pulls just, 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 just good, as good as my stinger. That was, that was solid. I like that. That was a Sport Plus mode. And this, this suspension is butter smooth, man. So we can, yeah, this thing is growl. Y'all hear that? This thing is just, just, just me cruising. I hear this thing growling, growling. Y'all hear that? All right, let's get another quick little pull right here. Like I said, guys, don't try this at home. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm impressed. I'm impressed, Gianni. I'm impressed. Brother reviews approved right here. I'm impressed, man. This is probably the cleanest and nicest car you've had. Um, this is an eight-speed automatic, by the way, and as you see, the shifts in this thing are just crazy smooth. I wouldn't say the fastest shifting, obviously. You know, you can never hear the, the the gap between each shift, like it's like you know, you know, like you're putting some butter on, butter on some bread between each shift. But it's smooth. It's smooth. I do like it. Now, as you can probably see the camera bumping up and down right now, this actually is a very bumpy road. Now, I see the car moving. I see it absorbing the bumps, but I really don't feel much. That, that was that was a good one right there. Now you, you really don't feel much. I'm about to go over this railroad crossing now. Yeah, I really don't feel much much uh, body movement, suspension movement in, in this car at all. It's very very planted, very very firm, but yet very comfortable at the same time. Definitely a great daily driver. And uh, as I'm merging the traffic here, and it's busy, so I think at this point I'm gonna put my camera down because I'm not gonna be able to do another pull at this point. So we're gonna take it back to the shop. I'm gonna pop the hood, see what we got under here, because I'm pretty, I'm pretty convinced you got some intakes under here. I was right, guys. We do have an aftermarket intake under here. Super clean engine bay. The hourglass front end. It's clean, man. This is a very, very nice car, Johnny. I'm very, very proud of you. I'm really, very happy for you, man. This is a beautiful car. Definitely a nice upgrade from uh, some of the some of the other cars you had. I mean, you had a couple couple cars you got some great deals on, and they were, they were really nice. But this has to be the nicest one. And I'm sorry, this is not the nicest backdrop right now, but this is the only space I could get, you know, with being out of shop. So, but I'm I'm very impressed. So congratulations, Johnny, and your new car. I see you got new tires, new brakes, intake, and so many modifications I see. Of course, you got some tents, some visors. Um, sorry, it doesn't, it doesn't need to get washed, so I apologize. But yeah, man. Beautiful car, bro. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's uh, get to putting these tires on, man. Again, <laughs> and he's gonna come back next week and get Lawrence free for the third time. 